Yeah, I honestly don't know how to start this video. Just roll the intro. Sup guys, DJ here, back at it again with another review. Now, when it comes to the quality of their shows, PBS Kids isn't really doing so hot right now. I mean, none of them are outright bad. Well, most of them. But none of their shows from the 2020s got anything past a 6 out of 10 in my opinion. Especially Alma's Way and Rosie's Rules. You know why I never reviewed these shows. Because there's nothing to say about them. That'd be like if I made a video talking about a cardboard box. What is there to say about then? Give Hero Elementary and the Super Y reboot some credit. At least they were memorably bad. At least I'll remember how much they suck. As for these two shows, there's nothing to like, there's nothing to hate, there's nothing to talk about. And I was expecting their latest show, Lila in the Loop, to be the same thing. To be this boring, safe preschool show that only exists to shut the kids up. I mean, can you really blame me? Just look at this intro. And the name itself doesn't help either. Lila in the loop. What the heck does that mean? Give Rubble and crew some credit. As bland as the name is, at least it makes sense, at least you can tell what the show is about just by reading the name. As for Lila in the loop. Again, what does that mean? Is that some sort of reference? I don't know. But hey, a show with a bland name can still be good with good execution. But is the show actually good? A. Look, I know I said in my community post that I thought the show was pretty good, and it was the best show since Molly of Denali. And yeah, it is the best show of the 2020s so far. But uh, I'm actually kinda mixed on this one. Some episodes are actually really good and charming. But other episodes are just boring pieces of mediocrity. Alright, let's talk about the characters. Starting off with the star of the show, Lila Loop. Wait a minute, Loop is their last name. That's what the name means. Lila Loop. You know what, I don't have the energy right now. Plus, I have an animated series to work on, so let's just carry on. Lila is a dynamic, determined, and optimistic character who never gives up. Gee, I've totally never seen that character in PBS kids shows before. Then we have her little brother Luke. He's probably the best character in the show. He has such a fun and quirky personality that's really fun to watch. Then we have the teenage twins. Ah, uh, what are their names again? Uh, 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 uh. Louisa and Liana Loop. According to the wiki, these two are identical twins who put their hearts into their activities and are very talented, but their goal is not to win at everything. They just like to try out new things and are more than okay if that makes them a little different. Um, whoever wrote that, not to insult your intelligence, but that's not a personality. What's a personality? Here's the definition of personality. The combination of characteristics or qualities that form an individual's distinctive character. Anyways, these two are basically just Lori and Lenny from The Loud House, except Lenny isn't dumb. Their dynamic is cute I guess, but they're kinda just your typical teenage girl twins. Then we have Stu. No you idiot. Not Stu from Rugrats. I mean that weird, blue creature. Thank you. God I need a new editor. You know, for a character who's supposed to be energetic and funny, Stu is surprisingly boring. I mean, I like the way he's animated, but personality-wise, he's just your typical obedient minion character who speaks gibberish to make the kids laugh. Then we have the parents. They like to support their kids and help them solve problems. Okay seriously, why are parents in preschool shows so bland nowadays? They mostly have no personality other than I love my kids. Like, the only exception I can think of is Chili and Bandit from Bluey. Yes yes, you heard that right. I finally watched Bluey. But that's a story for another video. And finally, he have Everett. He is Lila's best friend. No, seriously. That's all I can really say about him. Not even the fandom can describe him. Heck, not even the promo can say anything about him. Meet Everett. He's Lila's 
Gorilla's neighbor. Follow me. He likes collecting coins. Wow. His cat kibbles. Yeah. And pretty much whatever his best friend Lila's into. That is just. Wow. Okay. I know it sounds like I hate this show, but I do think this show is good, so let me explain some things I like. Like I said, some episodes are boring pieces of mediocrity, but the episodes that are good do have a lot of charm. And aside from Stu, the parents, and... Wait, what was the best friend's name again? None of the characters are that boring. They have their unique charm and traits. And like this comment pointed out, the theme song is really good. I just wish it had better lyrics. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly, I really debated whether I should review this show or not. Cause there's really not that much to say about it. But you guys really want me to do it so, who am I to say no? I'm honestly just waiting for that Weather Hunters show to come out. Cause it looks a lot better and a lot more interesting in my opinion. Speaking of which, I've just noticed something. Out of all the big preschool channels out there, Nick Jr., Disney Jr., and PBS Kids. Disney Jr. is doing the best right now. I mean, they haven't released an outright bad show since Spidey and his amazing friends in 2021, and that was nearly three years ago. Meanwhile, Nick Jr. and PBS Kids have been releasing mediocre show after mediocre show. Not to mention, they released Rubble and Crew and Superwise comic book adventures last year so, there's that. That is really ironic. I've watched both of these channels for basically all of my life, and the only time I would turn on Disney Junior was if Mickey Mouse Clubhouse was on. Overall, Lila in the Loop is good, but very low-key good. It's better than all this mediocre garbage, and if they make new episodes, I might check them out, but, it's not a show I would watch regularly. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for being patient with me despite my upload schedule. I'm supposed to upload videos every Saturday, but I've just been really busy with other projects like the crazy city of Partyville, Adventures in Partyland, and Character Elimination into the Multiverse. Yes, that show is still coming out. I don't know when, but it's coming out. I'll try to make more reviews, but I can't make any promises. Anyways, thanks for watching. And until next time, party on.